In a turbojet engine, energy is added to the air by the compressor and burners. The compressor increases the pressure of the air analogous to the way squid pressurize water with their powerful muscles before ejecting it from their funnel to create a jet. The burners increase the temperature of the air. The result is high temperature, high pressure air that contains a lot of thermal energy. Some of this energy is extracted by the turbine to run the compressor. The rest is converted to kinetic energy as it is accelerated by the nozzle to a high velocity to generate thrust. Now we will show the main staging parts for jet engine and explain its main function. The first stage of a turbojet engine is upstream airflow. From the point of view of the jet engine, the upstream fluid is approaching at the speed of the vehicle. The second part as we see is a diffuser, at the intel of the engine, the diffuser slows the flow as it approaches the compressor. This prevents shock waves from forming on the fast moving compressor blades when the aircraft is moving at high speed and keeps the compressor operating efficiently. The next part is a compressor, the compressor increases the pressure of air flowing into the engine. When the air is pressurized. It is ready to be accelerated out of the back of the engine at high velocity to generate thrust. This pressurization is analogous to the way squids squeeze their mantle cavities in order to eject fluid through their funnels to create thrust. Here we see another important part of a jet engine is a burner. A burner combusts fuel in the compressed air to add thermal energy to the air by increasing its temperature. This extra energy is necessary to operate the turbine that drives the compressor. It also allows the air to be accelerated to a higher velocity, creating more thrust. Let's move to another part, it's a turbine. After the burner, the hot pressurized air is forced through a turbine. The turbine is basically a specially designed windmill that extracts energy from the air in order to power the compressor. The compressor and turbine are connected by a shaft. So as air is forces through the turbine causing it to turn, the compressor is turned as well. The last part of a jet engine components is a nozzle. After the turbine, the air temperature is slightly lower because some thermal energy was extracted to run the compressor, but it still has a very high pressure and temperature. The high temperature, pressurized air is now squared out of the nozzle. The nozzle is specially designed to accelerate the fluid to a high velocity by converting the thermal energy stored in the air into kinetic energy. Thank you for watching Mechanics Tips videos. Wait us for more and more interested videos, and follow us on our Facebook page, http facebook.com, Mechanics Tips, for more knowledge and information in mechanical engineering. In a turbojet engine, energy is added to the air by the compressor and burners. The compressor increases the pressure of the air analogous to the way squid pressurize water with their powerful muscles before ejecting it from their funnel to create a jet. The burners increase the temperature of the air. The result